Hello everyone and welcome to this full tutorial and overview of the new Threads app. If you're looking on how to use Threads, how to import your profiles, and do everything as far as getting set up and started with Threads, this is the video for you. So here it is, download it from the iOS or Android app store. Uh, it's got the little A with the circle around it, in my opinion, a, a very, um, I don't know, subpar icon. But go ahead and tap in and open the Threads app. And then right when you open it up, you're going to see at the bottom there, it says log in with Instagram. If you already have Instagram installed and you're logged in on the device that you're using threads with, you will see this. If not, it'll ask you to log in. So go ahead and do that by either tapping on that there or logging in. And that'll go ahead and import some of your profile stuff as far as like your username. You can write a new bio by tapping into bio here and just typing in a few things about yourself that you want to include there on your public profile. And then add links by just tapping into links there and then adding, say, maybe your Instagram profile or Twitter profile, whatever it may be, right? And then what you can do is you can just easily tap on import from Instagram and that'll actually import your bio and links and everything directly from Instagram. Then just tap on the next button there and it's going to ask you, do you want your profile to be public or do you want it to be private? Uh, so basically I want mine to be public, but if you want yours to be private, you select the appropriate one for you and go ahead and tap on next. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is basically, do you want to follow the same accounts you follow on Instagram? Uh, if you do, then you just go to follow all, and that will basically follow everything, uh, everyone, uh, the accounts that you do on Instagram. But if you want to start fresh, you just tap on next, and that will not follow anyone at all. Next, go to the join threads button there at the very bottom. When you tap on join threads, you'll see the option to allow it to send you notifications. You can either allow or disallow. And then as you can see, it's basically just Twitter, right? So you have the text-based kind of feed here. Uh, as we scroll up and down, we can see uh, as, as people are typing, uh, you can see that you know everything looks very similar to Twitter. So this is going to be your main feed here on Threads. And you just swipe down to refresh, and that will bring up all of the new posts that are going to be presented to you. Now, at the bottom, you're going to see a magnifying glass. If we tap on that, that's going to allow us to search uh, all through threads. So if we tap on search there, you can see uh, that we can tap into search here and start typing in different words or phrases and then hit search. And it will bring up specific things that we search for here, just like if you were on Twitter. Now, how do we compose a new thread? I think that's what we're going with. Uh, you tap on the pencil icon in the middle there, uh, the pencil and, and, and paper icon there at the very middle right there. You should see the compose thread option there. And this is where the magic happens. All right. And then you just type in whatever you want to post as your thread. Uh, and when you get done typing, you can tap the post option there in blue. They have something very similar to Twitter threads, which is actually very ironic, uh, where if you go longer than what the allotted amount is of characters, it'll allow you to continue in a, a thread, right? If you want to attach something to your thread, you tap on the paper clip there at the bottom. It says threads would like to access your photos. And then once you've given it access, go ahead and tap on the image or video that you want to add to your thread and tap on add. And that will allow you to attach it right there to your thread. When you're ready to go, you just go ahead and tap on post and that will automatically post it to your profile. So tap on post there. And then if we go to our profile, you can see the first thing that I have here, it says, am I cheating on Twitter? That's what I just posted. And then what are the different things that you can do with a thread? So the heart icon there allows you to like it. The little comment bubble allows you to tap into that and comment on that specific thread. The little uh, arrow button there allows you to repost it or quote it. So repost, think of that as a retweet. And then quote that, think of that as a retweet with a quote, right? So you're saying something about whatever you're reposting. So that's what that is there. And then the little paper airplane icon, if you tap on that, it allows you to either add that to your story, post it to your feed on Instagram, or allows you to tweet it, ironically enough. Uh, you can just copy the link if you wanted to do that, or you can go to share via, and that allows you to share it uh, with the normal things there on your device. So as you can see here on my profile, you see the threads that I've made, which will be right here on my public profile. You'll see the replies under the replies tab here. You'll see everything normal on my bio here. You'll see a link to my Instagram account with the Instagram logo at the top that takes you directly to my Instagram profile. 
And then you will also see two lines in the right hand corner. If we tap on those, that takes us over to uh, the settings where we can you know, dive into the notifications, the privacy, the account settings, and we can tap into the account settings here and we can see the different settings for like deactivating your profile and the different trust and safety stuff. All the things that you would want to know about a new platform will be here under the settings. Now, again, finally, if you want to follow and find new new people to follow here on threads, you just tap into that kind of search or magnifying glass there or go to your home feed and see kind of what it's bringing to you here. So let's say that I found one of the people here in my home feed that I want to follow. I would just tap into their profile and then I would just tap on follow. And then unfollowing works the same way. You just tap on the following button there and that will unfollow someone there. Now, when you go to your profile, you're going to see the username there. So mine is Dusty Porter YT. That's not my name. My name's Dusty Porter, which is above that. But if you look closely there next to my username, you'll see threads.net. Uh, that's basically so it would be Dusty Porter YT threads.net. That's going to be kind of when you share your profile by tapping on share profile and go to copy there and then paste that link, you're going to see www.threads.net slash your username. So that's what your username is if you want to share that with anyone there. If you're looking for the privacy settings, they have a quick kind of link to that by tapping on that globe icon in the upper left-hand corner, and that'll basically take you to the privacy tab that you can kind of adjust and edit here and customize for your Threads user experience. Uh, the home or home feed here, again, is just that. It's going to be the feed that Threads thinks that you want to see by people that you follow or people that you follow on Instagram. Again, these are just things that are being curated by what Threads thinks that you want to see. And as you continue to use Threads, this will continue to be kind of tweaked and edited and hopefully will provide you with the content that you most want to see. So that's it. That's how you basically sign up and utilize everything that Threads has to offer as of now. Let me know. Will you be switching from Twitter to Threads in the comments section? Let me know. All right, guys, if this helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.